Hi, Ron Farrar here, brand director for Mice in North America. I uh, have with me uh, Andrew Lowry, uh, brand manager for Fank Vectors. And Andrew, thanks for taking the time to train us the other day. Um, I'd like today to go over this uh, new generation of Fank Vectors, the iVector. Um, tell me a little bit about uh, the iVector. Well, the iVector, like, like you just mentioned, is actually the, the start of a new generation of Fank Vectors for Mice and um, Meissen have, have got 50 years experience manufacturing these products going back to when Bob Meissen first realised the demand for high heat outputs at much, um, at much more compact design. So 50 years of experience, we are now at the IVEC. That's a long time. That's a lot of experience. It is. It's a very, is. Good, very good product. Yeah. Uh, so this, is, this, this doesn't look like the traditional uh, Fanka vector. No, um, what you'll notice is this, this product looks a lot more like a, a, a radiator product, something which would be hung, hung on the wall um, and looks a lot more natural um, to, in, a, in a property, uh, whether that be a, a domestic house or whether that be a commercial setting such as a school or um, any other commercial building. And what, what, is this, what is this made out of the front here? How is that, how is that constructed? Um, this is actually made out of steel, which is all pressed um, in the UK. Uh, this is where the, the full eye vector is made in the UK um, and, and we make everything that you see. Hi Andrew, we've, we've taken the, uh, the front of this off and it looks like we got a, a, a pretty good looking unit here. Um, I know we have this mar uh, mounted on the, uh, this uh, panel here, but it looks like it's easy to install. Tell me about that. Yeah, it's extremely easy to install. Um, what you'll notice straight away off the eye vector is it has no brackets. So this is actually literally fixed directly to the wall. And what we've got with the solid one piece casing, um, it fits directly onto the product. Um, and it's quick and simple to install, so it's brilliant for the for the um, the installer. Okay, and tell me about this coil. This looks like a, a pretty heavy duty coil in there. Yep, the the I vector um, boasts uh, an extremely large heat exchanger, um, like I say, the largest that we've actually made in a product before. Um, so it's 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 got a, a lot of size to it, and, and what that does is it allows for much higher heat outputs than than what we commonly see in fan convectors. So it, it, it is some hefty unit. <laughs> and how does that, how does that help in, in heating, heating the room? It's a, it's a much larger surface area. So effectively um, what it's gonna do is, uh, sorry, with the, with the large surface area and not only that, the low water content, um, typically 10% less than that of a, a traditional rod, um, it means it's gonna heat up the room quickly and accurately. Okay, so you're getting that rapid heat. How about when it shuts off? Um, very much the same. Not only is it gonna heat the room up very fast, but that coil is going to cool down extremely fast as well, meaning that the, the, it's not going to go over the room temperature as much as um, other products would, would generally do so. So we're getting uh, high output, quick heat, rapid recovery. So that's really, that's pretty energy efficient, isn't it? Yeah, very, very. It's, okay. uh, it's heating space very quickly and very efficiently. All right, so tell me, so tell me about this fan. It's, it's running and I can barely hear it. Yeah, um, the, well, the, the, the sound levels were actually a key consideration at the design stage of the, of the iVector. Uh, one thing that we wanted to do was make something which was extremely quiet, uh, but at the same time not actually affect the, the performance of the product. Uh, and what we've achieved is the quietest fan convector we've ever made. It, I, um, it's, it's amazing how quiet it is. And I yeah. notice we have this filter here. It looks like it comes out pretty easy. It does, yeah. Um, the, the filters there, we, we do uh, sometimes get people asking, well, what about dust? You know, this has got a fan and it's, there's going to be some air movement within the space. Won't this just blow a lot of dust around? Well, with that filter, it's gonna it's gonna stop any dust, so the the air quality is gonna be brilliant. Okay, and does this does this have to be mounted at a certain height off off the floor? Yes, uh, we we actually recommend a, a height of um, 150 millimeters, so approximately um, six inches off the floor. Okay, okay, great. So this fan's running at a low speed right now. It's pretty quiet. Is, 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 what about the controls? Can I control that fan to get, get different yeah, well, speeds? Yeah, well, first of all, you mentioned the fan speed. Um, th this, this is actually running right now on normal mode, which is how we would also recommend to size the product. Um, so the R3 fan speeds, starting at normal, uh, you've also got medium, you've also got boost. And like you mentioned with the controls, the controls are a very intelligent, most advanced control we've put on a fan convector. Um, and the, the, way, the reason that the flexible also is the fact that you have an easy mode, you also have a full mode, and the option to link to a BMS. I was gonna ask you, because you know, when you say it's the most advanced, that typically means it's very hard to use. But I heard you say there was an easy mode. Is, is this an easy controller to work Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, that, that's why we say a flexible, because um, with, with the easy mode, it's literally set your temperature and you're, away you go. 
However, we, we do have some customers who prefer to have a, a, a bit more um, flexibility within the system. For instance, they may want to be able to set a 24-7 program for their, for their space. Uh, with full mode, that's what you get. But just because it's full mode doesn't mean it's difficult mode. It's still very easy to use. The, the, the controls are very familiar. Um, so it's, it's, it's brilliant. Okay, so we've got uh, high output, efficient, quiet, easy controls, residential and commercial applications? Yeah, definitely. With the option to link to a BMS system, um, there's, there's no reason why this product wouldn't fit into any commercial setting. Okay. Um, and also that the high outputs that you can get from it, again, okay. brilliant, brilliant for, for commercial circulation areas. Okay, and I noticed the other day in the training we, we had a two pipe and a four pipe unit. What, what's the difference? Um, this is mainly related to cooling. Um, just so you're aware, the two pipe model um, that we have can be used for heating or cooling depending on what water source you use. Uh, whether that be a boiler for heating or chilled water from a chiller for cooling. So the two pipe can, can do either. And something important to remember is if you use a reverse cycle heat pump, uh, then it will be possible to have heating and cooling within that product, uh, depending on what season it is and what the heat pump's actually running at. The four pipe model uh, has the ability to actually connect a, a heating source and a cooling source at the same time. So what you'll find is this is brilliant for zoning. So if you have a building with a north and south face and you, you know you're going to get heat gains on one side uh, while you've still got losses on the other side which need to be overcome, then this, this product's going to be perfect for that because one side of the building is going to be cooling, the other right. side of the building is heating. Right. So this is a pretty versatile unit. Uh, you can use a residential or commercial. Yeah. Uh, heating only or heating and cooling with, a, with a, a reverse cycle heat pump. Or on the commercial side, you can use it with a chiller. Yeah. Correct? Yeah, that's right, yeah. Okay. So if you wanted, for the two pipe model, if you connect this to a chiller, um, you're going to get cooling only. Okay. So, but as well as that, if you had a four pipe model, you could connect a chiller and a boiler and get better Okay. Both so when I'm piping this thing, two and four pipe, what's the difference? I mean, what, is there anything else I have to do for the four pipe versus the two pipe? Um, well, with the four pipe model, we would recommend that you use the, the four pipe valve kit. Uh, and that's just going to be able to regulate the, the flow of each water. So if, 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 if you have um, a heating circuit and a cooling circuit, uh, this p uh, valve kit will actually determine which one should be open. Okay. And all of that will be done by the, the intelligent controller as well. That will send the signal straight to the valve kit on this side. Fantastic. Now what about on the cooling mode of condensation? How, how, yeah, does, yeah. how does that work? Um, well, with each eye vector, the two pipe and the four pipe model, are fitted with this condensate tray. Um, and, and that should be connected up to be taken either outside or to a drain. Okay. And what, what about when I have to install this thing on an internal wall and I really can't get that drain line out? What, what do I do then? Well, um, we do get a quite, quite a few requests to install this on an internal wall, as you can imagine. Um, so we've also launched a, a, another accessory to go with the, the four pipe and two pipe valve kits, uh, which is the condensate pump. So you'll, you'll connect that pump to the, the drip tray. The pump, the reservoir will sit underneath the drip tray, the pump will sit just below here, and then the water, the, the condensate water will be taken away from the, the device and outside or into a drain. I, I cannot believe how quiet this unit is. Yeah. What, what, I don't even you can hear in a bedroom, could you? No, it's silent. It's absolutely silent. Uh, it, it's actually much, uh, it, it's actually further under the regulations than, than what a bedroom's um, specified at. So th this product could easily be fitted in a bedroom. Um, without any complaints for noise whatsoever. Well, it's definitely a new generation fan convector. It's uh, the iVector by Meissen.